Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another video. My name is Igor, and this video is going to kick off a new short series that I'm going to do, basically explaining how to play the game and how to install it, how to get a beta key, the whole nine yards. I know I already did a video on it, uh, it's a while ago, I wanted to kind of redo it, I wanted to... Uh, get it, you know, more fresh because um, you know, there has been rumors that the game is actually going in open beta quarter one of 2013. So hopefully by March is when that should happen, March or April, somewhere in there. But what I want to do is I want to make a video showing basically from start to playing the game. So I've completely eliminated Salem from my computer altogether. It doesn't exist. It's not on here, you know, so on and so forth. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys the first step from starting your internet browser, getting a beta key, registering it, you know, showing you a little bit on the forums, and, you know, I'm going to actually uh, launch the game. This will be in a series, so it's not going to be in this episode, but I'm going to launch the game, and I'm going to get that installed. In my next video, I'm going to be covering uh, the user, user interface, what things mean, what things are, and it's going to be a very slow-paced video so that basically I'm not rushing through a bunch of inter information and I'm not missing anything and I want you guys to really know you know if you're new and you want to check out the game I want you to really feel comfortable with the interface and know what everything does so without further ado I would like to start showing you how to get the game so you're gonna start up your internet browser I personally use Google Chrome and the first thing you're going to do is you're wanna go, going to want to go to beta.salemgame Com, and it's going to take you to the Salem website, obviously power, probably powered by Paradox. And right here you're going to see this big button that says join the beta. So you're going to click that. And it's going to say, you know, X amount of number of codes remaining today. So this basically tells me how many codes there are left to give away. And usually there's always codes. So what you do is you click this big button, start your adventure. And it's going to ask you first name, last name, email. So I'm just going to go first name Igor, and then I'm going to go last name Vids with two Zs because I'm super cool, not. And then I'm going to enter in my email. And for the purpose of this video, I actually just made a kind of fake email just to show you guys. And I'm not going to subscribe to the newsletter. You guys should. If you haven't or you, you're creating your uh, account, you should subscribe. Or, oh, man at least register to receive the newsletter basically just so you know you get information it's gonna have uh, stuff what's going on at Salem you know news and stuff like that so it's definitely useful I, I have it on my main email but for this one I'm not going to and then click submit um, I didn't enter my email properly because I'm a nub sweet okay then click submit and it's gonna say thanks for signing up Igor the royal court needs to verify that you're a real potential future pilgrim so that we can avoid that soulless gadgets and machine claim your right to explore usually we would have simply checked if you could breathe move and yell death to the king in a convincing manner but in this day and age there are simpler methods to verify your livingness all you need to do is check your e check your email box for the letter we just sent you and follow the written instructions so let's do that I already got it up here and right there please confirm your email address to sign up for the Salem beta now if you don't use Gmail or you use something else um, what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to make sure if you don't get it with pretty pretty quick I mean you guys saw how fast I got that email if you don't get it pretty quick check your spam folder and make sure it didn't go in there because I do know some email you know servers like to do that kind of thing but mine didn't so we're gonna click on my email and it's gonna say you know the Royal Court would like to thank you you know so on and so forth pretty much nobody reads this they're just like oh link let's click it um, but yeah it just basically tells you what you need to do and once you click this it's gonna say beta Salem the game blah 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 and it's gonna say thanks for signing up so you got through the process with the court you know now take the secret passkey so you're gonna wanna highlight this passkey and right click it and copy it or control C and right down here in very small font it's gonna say to gain entrance to a ship to the new world, you need to enter your passkey here, which is just going to take me to login.salemthegame.com. I've covered that in another video of mine, but um, so we're going to go ahead and click this. It's going to open up another, you know, go to a new screen. Now, this is actually the forum. You are, when you click that link, you're on the forum right now. So basically how this works is when you create a Salem account and you get your beta key, when you create your username, password, your and then put your email address in and then your beta key, this creates your Salem account for the game. It also creates a forum account. 
so you don't need to go through and register twice and you know that can get kind of annoying so it's kind of nice that everything is bundled up into one also your Salem account will be directly connected to the forum so whatever information you use to log into the Salem you use to log into the forum so for the purpose of this I'm gonna just you know um, I'm just gonna put Igor YouTube as my username uh, password just gonna come up with something easy here and hopefully it matches and then email address just gonna put in my email that I made um, just kind of as a I guess dummy email and I can't even remember what it is and I probably can't check um, I guess I will just try and go for a guess and beta key so there we go now all your information is entered I have read and accepted the end user license agreement that nobody reads that actually I have. I read it when I was extremely bored one time and I was like, I wonder what the end user license agreement for this game, s game says. So I read it and it's actually an interesting read if you can get through it. So you click register. And it says registration is in progress. Email has been set to the address that you specified as soon as it arrives, blah, 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 blah. So let's check. And I did remember my email, surprisingly. And it's going to say, welcome to the Salem beta. This is going to get two more emails. Welcome to the Salem beta and greetings so on and so forth. Now when you click this it's going to take you to you know another email and basically what I just said to gain entrance to the ship to the new world you need to enter your passkey here so on and so forth and yada yada. So this one is going to have you know greetings you are possibly in the abuse of someone else have registered for a Salem account in order to finish the registration you only need to visit the following URL in your web browser. If your email user agent does not allow you to merely click on the URL just copy and paste it so on and so forth. So I'm going to click this. So now we have an account. That's it. Once you click this and you get to this screen, account settings, Igor YouTube, account created at, and last game login never, so on and so forth, this is your account. You have successfully created a Salem account. Now, to download the game is really simple. First thing you need to do is you need to actually make sure, you know, so you go to java.com, and you're going to want to make sure that you have Java installed. You have to install Java, and with the new updates and stuff, Java 7 does work pretty good. I'm using it currently. So make sure first that you have Java installed. Once you do that, all you do is you simply click Launch the Client. And it's going to say this file can cause harm, so on and so forth. So you're going to want to keep it. And in this case, just my, my case, just click on it. You're going to open it up in a folder wherever it sent it to, or just click Run. And there you have it. This is downloading the Salem game right now. And once it finishes, it should launch. It will launch the game. And it's going to take forever because I've completely eliminated all Salem files from my computer. So it might take a second. So this is accurate for you guys. You know, depending on your internet speed, it might take a little longer. It might go a little faster. Mine's kind of eh, middle of the road. It's not terrible, but it's not great. So once this launches, um, you're going to want to do one of two things. You can mess around in the game if you want. Uh, it's totally up to you. You can play around with it. You can mess with it. And there we have it. I My credentials are still saved. But um, you can do one of two things, like I said. You can either um, play the game, or you probably won't want to play the game yet, and I'll explain why. What I'm going to do is I'm actually gonna, going to log on to my main account, and I'm going to show you basically a couple of things. Now, I actually have, have actually been in a different area. I moved again. And basically, the only difference between the Salem default client like I have now and the other, basically, you know, client is that you can't do anything. Um, it takes a while to load. Things load a little slower. And... You obviously don't have things like you don't have camera angles, the map is super tiny. They have actually added a radar to the map now, so you can actually see uh, herbs and stuff on your map, and you can actually click them to move to them so you know where they're at, and so you can gather stuff. So if you just want to get a feel for the game, you just want to check it out, uh, you're more than welcome to do so, but I highly, highly, highly recommend getting the Ender's Client, which I'm going to show you right now. So the Ender's Client, basically you get different accessible things, like you get a resizable map, you get camera angles so you can move your free cam, or you move your camera in any free angle that you want, opposed to this one where all you can do is zoom in, zoom out, and rotate, 
which does make it kind of nice. Uh, it is smooth if you don't mind the camera angle. You know, you can use that. As you can see, it's actually taking forever for my character to load. That took that whole long time that I was explaining that was my character loading uh, and everything else loading. So now that we've done that, you know, I'm just going to go ahead and exit the game. And then you go to the forum, which you can access if you still have this page open. You can actually access right here by just clicking forum. Now you're on the forum. I'm logged into my account, and this is the forum. Um, if you're not logged in, you just there's a login button up here. Um, you know what? I'll just show you for the purpose of the video. If you're not logged in, it's going to show you this. I'll go to the forum first. So once you go to the forum, you'll see a little login. We're going to click login. And you're going to enter your credentials again, which mine is uh, Igor YouTube, and then my password here, and then log in. And now we're going to go to the forum. And now in the forum, which is why I was kind of explaining a little earlier, it is extremely important to, you know, use the forum. The forum is very, very useful in this game. The reasons why is because there's a help section where you can ask questions, you can talk to people, you can try and figure simple stuff out. There is a trading forum where you can go trade with other people if you're looking for something or you want to sell something. Um, and ideas and innovations, bugs and technicalities if you happen to find any. Uh, announcements are really important. It shows updates to the game and stuff. And the forums are just really important because Salem is a very, very, very community-driven game. So getting to know people and knowing who everybody is and their kind of attitude and stuff like that is extremely important. So what we're going to want to do for the Enders client, like I was explaining a minute ago, was we're going to want to go down to here and we're going to go want to go to Forum for Game modifi Modifications and Custom Clients, which is Artifice and Arcana, Arcana, however you want to pronounce it. So what we do is it's like the third one down. It's Salem Client by Ender. Now, when you click Salem Client by Ender, it's going to open the page and it's literally this easy. You click here. It's going to download the file. You hit keep open the file, it's going to open the updater, and it's it's going to do the same exact thing as the the default client does. The only thing you're going to get is you're going to get this, um, this list right here that basically looks for updates, it updates the Ender's client, it does the whole nine yards. So before I get into, uh, I'm not really going to get into explaining the UI right now because that's going to be coming in my next couple videos. What I'm going to explain is I'm going to explain the differences between Enders and the default, like I just showed you. This is a change log. Uh, whenever Ender changes anything on the client, he puts it in the change log so you can know what's going on. So we're going to log back into my account, and I'm going to save the new account for when I create a new character. I'm going to explain everything to you guys. First thing we notice is we have this four thing up here, which is your room for a purse, a backpack, and two you know, tools, whether it be a pickaxe and, you know, a pickaxe or a shovel or whatever the case may be. So the first thing that we notice that we can do, and it's taking my character forever to load again. I'm not sure why, but we'll figure that out in a little while. So the, one of the big things is that you actually have a bar, a couple of bars, that will tell, you know, you can hotkey stuff too. So you can hotkey useful things, you can hotkey moves, abilities, uh, combat stuff, so on and so forth. What you also can do is you can go in the options menu, you can go in the general, which I'm in, you can actually turn on study protection, which I will get to in the next, in another video, uh, radar icons, so you can actually see, you can see basically, um, you know, you can see the icon on the map, or when you turn off radar, icon, radar icons, you only see like blips and dots. Some people got used to the old way, this was the old way of um, using the radar, which was the blips and dots, so people got used to it. Um, but, you know, if you want to use this one so you can kind of identify better, you can do it that way. But the first thing you probably also notice is that I can move my map around. Yay! Um, that's definitely useful. You can position it wherever you want. And if you click in the lower right-hand corner, you can actually adjust the size of your map. Small, huge, you can do whatever. So that's kind of neat, and it makes things a lot easier. And it also makes your life a lot easier, too. So, now that we have that, you can also go in camera you can go follow cam which is the same thing pretty much as the default client follow cam smoothed which is what the default client has it's a smoother more polished version or freestyle like I use where you can actually move the camera in any angle that you want and you can play with it and adjust it and 
you, you basically it doesn't follow you. You can do this and play the game. It doesn't matter. The other thing that you can turn on and off is shadows, which is in the default client as well, but anti-aliasing, which just makes the game look a little bit more polished, but it will make it lag a lot more. So be wary of that. So now that we've done that, um, you can actually go into audio, change your audio levels, you know, so on and so forth. So hopefully this helps you out a little bit on learning the difference between Enders and the default client. And you can obviously see I went from not having any client at all. I got my beta key. I registered an account. I launched the game and I'm playing. So that's how you first get started. That's how you first start the game. That's how you fire it up and, and start playing. Now, what you're going to see when you first start the game is you are going to see a list that says nothing on it. It's not going to have any characters and it's just going to be completely empty. I probably typed my password wrong. Yep. And it's going to be completely empty and you have to click new character. And this is where I stop because my next video is going to be creating this new character, explaining every piece of the UI and what everything is and what everything does. Uh, and I'm going to explain a few things to start with. So hopefully this helps you out. I know there's a lot of rambling and r digressing going on in this video, but hopefully it helped you guys out and figure things out. Uh, for all of you who haven't yet and who are watching this video, I do have a Facebook and Twitter up, and I do appreciate the people who have already liked it and followed me on Twitter. So if you haven't, you should do that. I post updates and random little snippets and things, so on and so forth, that you know happen to me that I don't want to make a video about. So hopefully this video helps you guys out. Make sure to like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, and I'll be making more videos soon. And that next video will be coming out probably after you see this. It'll probably be about a week, and I'll have the second part of this video out. So... As always, thanks for watching.